We are going to pinpoint the latest on Michael and also tropical depression number 15 that will be Nadine a little bit later today, possibly. That thing's way out there, so we're going to focus on Michael, that other storm. It will be pointing in our direction, though, so we'll keep you up to date on all the changes. But Hurricane Michael, the latest track as of 5 o'clock this morning, came down right while we were on the air. It didn't change much from overnight. It's still a Category 1, but look at this. As it's just now moving into the very warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico, it will wrap rapidly strengthened to a category two later today and then a category three tomorrow, if not today because of these very warm waters. Water temperatures in the mid and upper 80s. That's the fuel we need to fire this thing up. Right now the winds are at 90 miles per hour, moving north northwest at 12 miles per hour. So it's picked up a little speed from yesterday afternoon, but not a lot overnight. You can see a category three likely to make landfall there in the panhandle somewhere between the big bend of Florida and Destin, Florida. That's the entire cone. If it does the B line right here in the center, it would hit Panama City directly. But again, it could go either way here and this track could move a little bit, but it does look like this is going to be pretty accurate. The models are in good agreement on this now. So anywhere in that region, even up into Tallahassee, we will see a strong storm, a major hurricane, possibly still category three strength as it moves inland to Tallahassee. What can they expect in the panhandle? Eight to 12 foot storm surge. 10 inches plus of rain leading to some flooding and of course beach erosion. For us, we're watching this thing because it's 500 miles wide. Even though it's not going to directly hit us because of its width, we are going to see rain bands. Already seeing rain moving in now, but here are our impacts from that system as it moves closer on through Thursday. So from now through Thursday, we'll begin to see deteriorating conditions, especially in Marion County. Marion County could see some tropical storm force winds, but for the most part, between 25 and 35 mile per hour winds rain up to two inches, four inches max isolated tornadoes because we're on the dirty side. Here's the rain on the radar right now. The yellow is indicating moderate rain, the red heavier Palm Coast down to Flagler Beach. You've seen some rain, some heavy stuff for the past couple of hours. Titusville, Port St. John down to Rockledge. More of this moving in and out over into East Orange County, including Bithlow. We'll see it off and on throughout the day with a 60% coverage. We're at 75 in Orlando, 81 in Melbourne. Here is your pinpoint accurate forecast. Your forecast brought to you by Del Air Heating and Air Conditioning. Warming to 90 today, that 60% coverage of rain on and off through the afternoon and evening as these bands begin to push in from the south. Right now we're seeing more of a movement from the east up to the north and northwest, but we'll see more of that coming in from the south through the day and certainly tomorrow. Highs area wide near 90 here is your seven day forecast and you'll see those rain chances high at 60% for today and tomorrow, 70% Thursday and then down to 30 percent by Friday and Saturday. The one good thing, this thing's going to move out fairly quickly, but it will move into the Carolinas, giving them flooding rain.